Hello everybody, what's up? It's me, Pichu, and this is the Poke Plush Podcast. This is the Pokemon Plush Podcast for Pokemon Plush Collectors, for Pokemon Plush Collectors. And I'm going to just say right here, it might sound a little weird, um, I'm recording this just kind of off of my phone today. My computer's been kind of weird and was not really doing it. It's going to be a quick episode anyway, so it's not too crazy. And today we're actually going to be talking about some new restocks from the Pokemon Center. And if you don't know or haven't been paying attention, Pokemon Center has recently had a good amount of restocks for specifically Sitting Cuties, as well as a bunch of the actual starter Pokemon, like the bigger plushies like my Samurott that I have, similar to my Toxtricity, the wired ones where they have the wires. I actually have Incineroar and I do have Samurott. So pretty cool bunch. And I sadly was not able to really grab any other new ones i do kind of regret that it's whatever though i'm not complaining too bad i was able to get at least a little bit of the restocks that being a few sitting cuties as well as that i was actually able to grab van go pikachu which honestly that was pretty worth it my see it's already like sold out the same day that it came back it's sold out which was ugh nauseating to see because you know that 90 percent of the people that grabbed that was definitely scalpers however at least 10 percent of us was probably able to get the plushies it looks excellent i love how it looks it's right there in my little standee next to some of my favorite pokemon that i have plushies of that being like rockruff gumi suwaddle puchiana and of course the nova starters very very awesome also if you guys hear me kind of pause just randomly it's probably getting cut out and I am very tired again today. <laughs> Screw it. I'm going to leave that yawn in there for tonight. But I, um, I'm um, actually doing this at night, the day before, so Sunday. Ugh, and I have COVID at the moment. I got positive last week, or I say last week, earlier this week. And from that, it's been very, very annoying. So I'm just trying to recover it's gonna take me a little bit, but I'm I'm getting back into it. My breathing's kind of weird because I had some breathing problems when I had COVID a few years ago as well, and it's just been a an, an time. I have a lot of medicine that I've been taking. I finished up my main batch of medicine. However, I do have some cough meds, and the cough syrup actually makes me very very sleepy. So I've just kind of been ugh, ugh, very sleepy recently. However, that's whatever. It's just going to be a shorter episode this week. And then when we come back, we're actually going to have a Reddit post and Reddit-specific video talking about some of y'all stuff, as well as whatever news we probably have, I assume, but we're going to have news. I'm not going to talk too much about news because the restocks is kind of my thing that I'm going to be talking about today. And I just want to know what kind of restocks do y'all want to come back into the Pokemon Center for me it has been very, very awesome seeing all of these restocks come in. It's been very excellent, very fun. I love seeing restocks come. However, it is very nauseating at the fact that they sell out so fast. There's a few ones that have not sold out since they've been restocked, which I find very, very excellent. If y'all don't follow me on YouTube or watch my YouTube videos mainly, I actually did a video that came out this Saturday talking about the sitting cuties. And I got Chinchow, I got Dusclops, I got Corsola, and I got Carnivine. Carnivine was one that I really, really wanted, so I was really happy I was able to grab that. Excellent addition to my collection. Honestly, one of the coolest ones that I have. It makes me super happy. However, I do also kind of see myself also failing to be happy that we have all these, because I'm not going to be able to grab too many, especially with me not working for... A week and a half now because of COVID, which, ugh, man, that just sucks. However, like I said, I was able to get those sitting cuties. I was able to get Pikachu, Van Gogh's Pikachu, and I was able to get me a Palafin Poke Doll, which I was really, really excited about. I really wanted the Palafin Poke Doll. It looks excellent. I also want to get the the Dunsparce plush that came out a few months back. I'm, I'm like in between. Should I grab it now and just kind of do and do whatever with it? And that'd be awesome. And the other part of me is like, don't do it just yet. Don't do it just yet. But I, I don't know. We'll, we'll figure that out when we get there. I might do it and then have it as a surprise for my May update video that I have coming out whenever we go through all the plushies. If you guys watch that, then you'll know about that. 
gosh, such a rambling episode, and it's definitely going to be a shorter episode, which I do apologize about, like I said, being sick has not really given me the power to really go through and grab a mic and kind of talk to y'all, I've, ugh, it's been, ugh. as well as that, I have finals coming up, I actually have final, I was actually able to get exempt from my two of my three classes that I'm taking, however, Tuesday, I have to take that final at night, so about, I think, 6.30 to 8 o'clock, when the final time's gonna be, ugh, totally not excited for that, but we're gonna go through it. I also gotta get my other classes planned for the following semester. I'm almost done with my basics. I'm working as well as during school, so that's the reason I haven't really finished my two-year degree in two years. I also started during COVID, so I took a, a semester off for sure. So I'm kind of on the back burner when it comes to that. However, I'm I'm still going towards that. This is just a very much of a rambling episode. I'm so sorry, guys. But yeah, I do want to know what kind of Pokemon you guys want to see restocked. If there's any specific ones. Before I had gotten it, I really, really wanted them to restock the Oshawa Pokemon Center plushies. If you don't know, I am a huge Oshawa collector. And Oshawa is one of my favorite Pokemon of any generation, I'm going to say. He's tied for Rockruff and he's tied... For Poochie and I do love my Poochie and I do love my Rockruff. However, Oshawott was my first ever Pokemon that I had in my collection. So I, I've just kind of built up a pretty large and sustainable Oshawott collection. I wish I could do the same thing with Poochie and a Rockruff. However, they do have not the big amount of plushies like an Oshawott does. Which God, I'm still really, really hoping to get an Oshawott plush for the Squishmallow collection. That would be absolutely epic. However, I'm not too anticipated of that. I know that he is a pretty popular starter. However, I just, I'm going to be honest, I don't really see him getting a Squishmallow anytime soon. Especially with him kind of only doing Gen 1 through 2 with the rare Piplup. But Piplup was honestly such a weird one to do. I feel like it's kind of tied with Oshawott for the popularity. It's, I don't, I don't know how to explain it. Piplup is kind of that weird popular Pokemon that you kind of forget about. He's a popular starter until they start doing some stuff in the media about it. And it's very weird. I do have the Piplup Squishmallow as well. I got Piplup, Teddy Ursa, Clefairy. We have Snorlax. And then we also have Gengar. But that's kind of off things. But whenever they had the Pokemon Center Oshawott's, I really wanted to get one specific one, the Poke Plush version of them. However, uh, he's been out of stock for several years now. It's very crazy how just how bad they are at restocking plushies. But thankfully, they are like this whole video has been about. They're actually going through and finally doing it, which man took them long enough. However, by the time they're doing that and they're possibly gonna restock it. I just found one on Makari. I just found one on Makari for like the same amount as the actual one you would get at Pokemon Center. So I was really, really happy about that. And with that being said, the modern Pokemon Center right now, I have every single Oshawa plushie. At least all the ones that you can see in the US ones at this moment. And it's it's pretty cool. It's very cool, actually. I do love seeing it. I put a video on my TikTok, and it kind of blew up. And it's at, like, what, 2, 3K likes right now? And then, like, I think 16, 17K views, which crazy for a Pokemon video. I've had a pretty large video on JoJo's Bizarre Adventure cosplay. Because I do cosplay Josuke. I, at least I used to back before I gained some weight. Which, man... As soon as I'm done sick, I'm getting back in the gym for the summer. Gonna not have the summer bod, but I'm gonna have the, the, the winter bod. Let's call it the winter bod for the summer next year. So that'll be very, very awesome. However, I have just kind of been doing that and just kind of running around with that. So I, I, I'm i gonna be honest, I kind of forgot <laughs> what I'm talking about. All these medicines have gotten me messed up. My days are all out of whack. I honestly thought today was Tuesday by the time you're watching this I'm actually recording this on Sunday and I thought today Sunday was a Monday very weird stuff just kind of me blabbering around it's probably not going to be too much longer of a video but yeah I I, I don't know I kind of want some more Pokemon to get restocked I'm really hoping we get some more comfy friends restocks bunch of people who want the comfy friends restocks I know that 
for sure. People have been begging for the Flareon, the Vaporeon, and all of that. Honestly, I would love if they did an Umbreon or an Espeon Comfy Friends, because those two are my favorite of the Bunchies for the Eeveelutions. It'd be great to grab one of those if they ever made one. However, if not, it's whatever. I, I do have my Bobastis still, so I'll, I'll take that. I actually had them in my bed last night, because I kind of... I needed something warm, because I was having such a weird trouble of sleeping, which... As a grown man, I will, I will say, sometimes I do need a plush to help me sleep. So it's just a very comfy one. That or the Charmander ones are usually my favorite. And I, I don't know. It's just pretty fascinating to see how collectors do with their plushies. Whether they just have them out or if they actually cuddle with them. My girlfriend, I know, definitely like cuddles with her talk. So I got her. Which, hi, if you're seeing this, you're probably like weirded out by the fact that I'm just rambling. And you're probably going to be like, well, why is he rambling like this and make fun of me? It's whatever. But, yeah, so Comfy Friends would be a very, very cool thing to see. I do need some more Sitting Cuties to get restocked, though. There's so many Sitting Cuties out there that the fact that they haven't restocked some of the ones that were the most popular, such as Dwebble, God, Dwebble and Crustle, man, you would think they are like bottle caps in Fallout. They are so crazy, the amount that they have and how much they're needed. It's like currency. Dwebble currency is going to be the new thing. <laughs> God, double, oh my gosh, Dwebble currency. That would be very, very funny if that became a thing. Honestly, with Pokemon plush collectors, that does seem like it's going to be a thing. So there is some Pokemon that definitely need to get restocked more than others. And Dwebble and Crustle definitely being one of them. And honestly, please do that. Please do that sometime soon. That would be amazing. I need it. I need Dwebble and I need Crustle. I actually have the Crustle and Presto plush. So you know what? I can do without Crustle. Just give me Dwebble and I will be a happy, happy camper. But yeah, I think I'm going to end this off because I do feel myself. So it's going to be more of a mini today. And then we'll have some more. I'll try to get it out next week if I'm feeling any better. How the breathing is kind of a weird thing with me right now, especially with all the COVID stuff going around. Ugh. I am hoping to make a better recovery. Oh, but we'll just call this a mini episode of me just kind of rambling about Pokemon restocks and everything about that. I, I didn't really talk too much about the restocks, but you got to know a little bit about me and we just kind of talk a little bit. So I'll take that. I'm okay with that. I hope you guys enjoyed this random little ramble. And if this is going to be the lowest viewed episode of the podcast, I completely understand that because I, I don't know, it's just, uh, uh. but that is it for the Pokey Blush podcast. I hope you have an amazing day. If you're down, put in the comments and I'll probably be able to talk to you more about the restocks. Let me know what kind of restocks you have in mind and maybe I'll come back to this on a future episode and do something about that. But it's going to be it for me. Thank you. Thank you.